Hello musicians, Davy G here again with another epic lesson. We've mastered the ABCs of music, but now it's time to graduate from kindergarten and see how these cool letters actually rock out in the real world. Buckle up, because we're about to dive into musical examples that will make those notes come alive. Note repetition. Remember those seven cool and simple letters we talked about. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. They're the rock stars of music forming the musical alphabet. But here's the twist. They love to party and repeat themselves. Picture a never-ending circle where A meets A again, just higher or lower. Just like walking up or down stairs, the notes change pitch. Higher on the right, think climbing. Lower on the left, like going down a slide. Here's an example. Let's start at A. We move to the right or clockwise to B, then C, then D, then E, then F, then G, and lastly back to A. So, if you keep on going, the music alphabet just repeats. There are no more letters to use. Simple. Just seven letters. Now, let's translate this letter repetition onto a piano. Pay attention to the pitch as the letters repeat. Going to the right of the piano, the pitch of the note gets higher. If we keep going to the right, the letters keep repeating and the notes keep going up in pitch. Now if we go to the left on the piano, the letters of the musical alphabet go in reverse order. The note's pitch gets lower the further you go down to the left. About octaves and naming pitch with octave numbers, just like buildings have floors, music has octaves. Each octave is like a level, with the same notes, but different pitches. Imagine the piano as a giant ladder. A1 is down low, cozy in its basement apartment, while A2 lives on the first floor, a bit higher up. The further you climb, the higher the notes get, and vice versa. I said A1 and A2. This is because we will be naming pitch with octave numbers. A number is added in front of a note to indicate what range and pitch is being played. If we see the piano like this photo above, you can see that, like a ladder, notes go from low to high. For example, A1 is a lower note than A2. This is called an octave. In music, an octave or perfect octave is the interval between one musical pitch and another with double its frequency. While I apologize for the repetition, I offer this final example to solidify your understanding of note and pitch referencing. Grasping this concept is crucial for your musical development. Look at this staircase of notes above. Starting at A5 and going to the left, the pitch gets lower. Starting at A5, going to the right, the pitch gets higher. I believe you have grasped the previous concept. Now, to expand your musical knowledge, let's explore an interesting piano pattern that also utilizes the concept of octaves. This pattern is the basis when it comes to finding the range of notes on a keyboard. Even if you don't play piano, you will see these keys if you create music digitally on your computer. Since all these notes repeat, memorize this pattern to help you find notes quickly. Do you see the pattern? Start at note C. The C key is very important. You may often hear the term middle C be used, which points to C4 on the piano. Octaves change first in number from note C. A lot of pianos start on the C key, or a few notes away from the C key. They always usually end with the last key being C. Note relation. Notes on a piano, notes on a guitar or violin, 
It doesn't matter the instrument, even your voice sound. They all have the relative note names and pitches you have just learned. The difference would be in timbre, but these note names all work with any musical instrument. What about the black keys? Before we wrap it up, let's talk about those mysterious black keys on the piano. They actually have cool note names too. These black keys are called sharps, and they add a special flavor to music. But that's a story for our next episode, where we'll dive deeper into the world of sharps and unlock their musical secrets. So stay tuned, keep practicing those musical letters, and until next time, keep the music flowing.